Big Body Brom is in the building, boy. Woo! Let's get it. I'm hyped. We're about to watch this full champion introduction video. Let's look at the moves to see how close was I in the last video where we were breaking out his moves in the trailer. I mentioned that he didn't have his Q in the League of Legends, the projectile that he shoots. Let's see what he got. How close was I to the League of Legends version? Damn. That's big headbutt. Oh, he froze a midair too. Whoa, 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 whoa. He froze a midair. Is that straight air com off of that? Damn. Okay. Yes, sir. We've seen all this. You know, the wall rides. Yup, yup. Coral coming in. Oh, it brings him back. Whoa. Hey, everyone. I'm Steve, game designer on 2XKL. I'm here to introduce our sixth playable champion. What's good, Steve? Ready to fight for the very first time at EVO Vegas 2024. Yes, sir. Prom, yes, sir. The heart of the Frail Yard. Unless you make trouble. Best Prom believe. Is a legendary hero with a heart even stronger than his muscles. His massive shield is once the unbreakable door. Damn. To Look at that artwork. You see all the you see all the skins. You see all the skins on the bottom right. You got we got that the the red, the orange, the pink, the green. That shit's fire. Ancient treasure vault. Brom uses it to protect those in need wherever he goes. In 2XKL, Brom is the guy you want by your side in a 2v2. Yep, yep, his game yep. plan is to shake off incoming pressure and defend his teammate, creating opportunities to strike back with overwhelming force. Oh my god, that mix up was dirty. Shake off incoming pressure and Yo, you didn't even see Ari come in. You saw that you saw that twirl? He's the guy you want by your side in a 2v2. Whoa. His game plan is to shake off incoming pressure. Look at her, she came in with the dash. <laughs> he shielded the animation, so she came past him with the dash. That was fire. Creating opportunities to strike back with oh overwhelming my God. force and letting them shine. And then he came back in. Nice. Tom's armor and assists let him disrupt enemy plans with ease. He also adds a freeze mechanic to our game. Yep. Oh! Using the magic within his shield to stop opponents. Oh, there it is. He does use the Q straight up. It's a projectile. What? He also adds a freeze mechanic. Okay, so his shield is blue before he shot it, and then he shot it, and now the shield kind of breaks away from the ice. Okay, so it's an install. It's basically an install. You have to buff up the shield somehow with an install. So let's see how that works. Mechanic to our game. And you see the damage on that? Oh, damn! Using the magic within his shield to stop opponents. Damn, those three hits! Bruh. Those three hits! Look at her health! This comes with new strategies to play around, whether you're on his team or against him. Oh my god, crack. Defense is at the core of his design. But don't assume that he's not a damage threat. Or this could be you. Yeah, that was a super. That was good. All good. Yep. Brom's kit is built around Unbreakable, a buff that coats his shield in ice. He gains uh... Unbreakable by landing specific abilities. Oh. Brom gains one hit of armor on his shield attacks while he has the buff. Wait, so he gets a point of armor on his shield attacks with the buff on top of getting new moves yo brom what this means he can absorb a hit while using certain moves enemies can get rid of Broken. a breakable with a knockdown a throw or an armor breaking attack like a charged heavy or an ultimate yep yep usual that's usually how it is you grab super armor that's just always how it works in fighting games Level three, sick a lot. Unbreakable yeah. is used to boost all of Brom's specials, making them deal more damage. Ooh! But it Damn, also grants frosty new effects to some of his abilities. Yeah, I love it. For example, Winter's Bite consumes the buff to shoot a projectile, freezing an opponent on hit. On hit, so they so they could block it. So if they miss, it, it's a read. Yeah, it's a read. Alawi was just standing still there. I bet. For example. Oh yeah, it was a whiff punish. It was a whiff punish. So yeah, he got frozen. It was just a punish. So, I'm assuming if if this was League of Legends, Yasuo's wind wall blocks all projectiles that that touch it straight up. It just blocks it. So, I'm assuming the interaction will be the same. Yasuo puts up his wind wall in this game. You shoot a projectile like that, and it's it's not gonna it's not gonna work. Just like it's a very League of Legends interaction. So I wonder if they're gonna show it in this video. Winter's bite consumes the buff to shoot a projectile, freezing an opponent on hit. Brom's assist let him defend his teammate for one hit of armor or charge in with a shield. Oh, the assist part defends for one hit of armor. Okay, so it's not just there like blocking everything like Larry in for Hagar, <laughs> you know, in Marvel vs. Capcom. No, it 
it really just blocks one hit, so that's okay. I don't mind that. They get even better with Unbreakable, so it's usually a good idea to start him off as your point character, activate the buff, then tag your partner in. And you can use your empowered assist to block tons of damage Ooh. or to send opponents into the wall. Just rinse and repeat until they're KO'd. Okay. Okay. That's saucy. That's saucy. He got that. Stand behind me is Braum's defining ability. Hold back S2 to gain unlimited hits of armor and absorb projectiles. To get wow. through, an opponent will need to throw Braum or hit an armor breaking attack, like I mentioned before. Okay, so being that you just hold it and you can just kind of walk forward, that's not as broken as it seemed in the trailer. They just made it really, you know, you're just trying to hit them. And, you know, for noobs, that's going to be a thing. But the second you see that shield up, you know, you already know that's a grab. You already know that's a grab. You just jump over him. You bait, like, when the shield comes down. You know, it's actually not, it's actually not going to be that hard for better players to counter that. I'm interested to see all the setups that, that other people are going to do, though. Prompt's teammate can attack from behind the shield, making it a really safe way to tag in and deal damage. If you're in a duo, just make sure your communication is on point. Sir. Oh! Stand behind me is a powerful tool, but it can only be used to deal damage when you have a friend backing you up. Once Prom is down a teammate, he has to take riskier swings to stay in the fight. Okay. To avoid this, he wants to protect his ally as much as possible because they've got his back in return. After all, it's always best to fight together. That makes sense. Generally, Braum wants to do one of two things, get unbreakable or call a teammate to continue a combo. His kit is designed around making that happen. His free Actually, now that we look at it, look at the fuse that he's using. He wants to use the fuse that uses like that double assist, that double tag assist. So that way he can get exactly what he wants. We're starting off that point, getting the debuff, call tagging in your assist, continuing, and then tagging Braum back in to utilize the debuff. I think that's going to be strong. Freezing abilities create big windows to safely land. Oh my blow god! Around making that happen. What was that hit Freezing stun? abilities create big windows to safely land. Yo! Or tag in your partner. I'm not gonna lie. With this roster so far, this will probably be the team I run. Darius and Braum. I'll probably run that because Darius is saucy. Battering Ram and Stand Behind Me oh. allow Braum to absorb projectiles. And Unbreakable can give him the upper hand when he's on the attack. Oh my god. But because you trade speed for strength, he doesn't really have many ways to mix up or catch a faster opponent. Luckily, he's got a few tricks up his sleeve. Meet the Poros. I don't, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got to talk about that mobility because I, I did mention that in the video too, mobility. I mentioned he wasn't going to have a lot of mobility, only a little bit because he does in League of Legends do the form of a dash to his teammates. But with this... But because you trade speed for strength, he doesn't really... He's running. And Echo is just wave dashing back. I want to see Brahms dash. How is Brahms wave dash? They made it just seem that he's just slow. Which I'm sure he's going to be, of course, after all the patches and stuff. But does he have a slow dash? Have many ways to mix up or catch. Look at that clean wave dash in my Echo, though. a faster opponent. Luckily, he's got a few tricks up his sleeve. Meet the Poros. Magical creatures from the Freljord. Mad cute. Thanks to Brahms' heroic deeds, he has many fluffy friends who are... Poros are lit, yo. Ready to I love Poros. His command grab calls a tiny but mighty warrior who leaves his target vulnerable for a moment. Get in an opponent's face, then use this move when they're on the back foot. Command it's grab. easy, unbreakable activation. Definitely a command grab. Hits. Definitely a command grab. And when your enemies are trying to run away, just toss a Poro at them. <laughs> Yo, okay, at the end of the trailer, he used that, and I thought that was part of his level three. But it actually looks like that's just a move. That's like... What is that? Uh, Dudley in Street Fighter 4, where he just throws the rose at you. And it, it does, like, no damage, but it's kind of, like, just a, a little projectile to help you out. That's kind of what this is. Let's see the damage. And when your enemies are trying to run away, just toss a four at them. Okay, that, that actually did a lot more damage than I thought. I thought it was going to do, like, one pixel or something. That actually did a decent amount. And that's a good setup. Especially if you're like in the in the neutral, you're shimmering, shimmying with each other. You don't want to just put up your shield, right? You kind of want to throw that out and then do something with it. This doesn't do a lot of damage, but it's pretty annoying and knocks champions out of the air to yep. force them to fight Braum yep. on the ground. Yep. Lastly, Braum's ultimate is Snacks Time, which summons all the pores you could dream of in a Poro stampede snacks. of Snacks. They're stronger than they look. Snacks, by the way, S N A X is the name of this cookie that you can find in Runeterra, and that's the same cookie that you use in Aram in League of Legends to feed the Poros in that game mode.
Look, adding massive damage to the end of a combo or being used as a reversal. Damn. Damn. Oh, yeah. I saw so many comments saying that that was Brahm's Raging Demon. Like, I I don't see it. Can y'all let me know in the comments, like, how is that considered a Raging Demon? I see, like, the cutscenes, for example, like, how the cutscenes kind of combo or being used blur out, like, the, like, the, um... What is that called? Like the hitting animations. This is a reversal. Like like these. The hitting animations, it goes black screen. Like I understand how that could be considered a raging demon, but like he didn't dash to get it. I'm assuming Akuma would dash across the screen, command grab you to get that. Did Lastly, he command Brom's grab? Ultimate is snacks time, which summons all the pores you could dream. That that's not a you command grab. That's not a command grab. He didn't dash to it. He just did the animation, you know? Yeah, let me know in the comments, like, uh, what do you think? is the raging demon part Stampede of the super. Of fluff. They're stronger than they look, adding massive damage to the end of a combo or being used as a reversal. Bop. Bop. Prom's heavy attacks make him relatively easy to pick up and play. Press Dang, heavy you saw that one-handed push-up? Prom's heavy attacks make him relatively Bop. Yo, wait, one-handed, one finger push-up. Yo, he's Goku out here, bro. <laughs> and he hit him with the shield. That's fire. Whoever thought of these concepts, yo, great stuff, man easy to pick up and play Great press stuff, any Steve. heavy attack twice to activate a follow-up if you're a new player just remember to do this and you'll deal some reliable damage it's easy see and it's especially useful in a duo with a more advanced player once Braum lands those first two hits tagging his partner to keep up the pressure oh then, i'm loving this once you're a Braum master you can connect these attacks to extended combos. oh i'm loving this yes sir he hits slow too he hits slow that's why they gave him the super armor because his slow hits, nah, that ain't gonna fly with fast characters, so he needs the super armor to let his hits out, for real. Prom's best allies take full advantage of stand behind me. For Ooh, example, footage. Echo and Yasuo have assists that cover a lot of ground quickly. Let Prom right. hold the line and clear a path for them to strike safely. Yep. Stand we behind me is that. also a great tool for champions that want time to set stuff up, like a Lowie. It's easier ah. to summon a sea of tentacles when Prom's on the job. Nice. Prom is happy to jump in and save the day, no matter the mix up. We're excited to see you take up a shield. Yeah, you know Alawi and Brom have like a uh, lower synergy as well, so th this already makes sense that them two would just be great together. Be ready to play at Evo Vegas in 2024. Visit the 2XKO booth to try the demo and chat with the dev team. Yes, sir. Are y'all going to Vegas? We'll bring a duo to defend and let us know what you think. We're always happy to talk. Brom will Fire. also be available for the 2XKO Alpha Lab. Our first at-home playtest in the Pacific regions. Yes. Register for a chance to be yes. selected at play2xko.com. You can read about the Already there. regions, platforms, and dates for Alpha Lab on the website. Follow yes, us sir. on 2XKO socials for more. Yes, sir. Time. Okay, so it's just closing. So, yes. Yes, we are hyped for the playtest. We're definitely going to be playing. We're going to be streaming. We're going to be making content. Let me know in the comments what you need to see next. I'm absolutely hyped for Brom. Brom is definitely going to be one of my main so far out of this roster that we've seen. We're waiting for the last character to see what that is, but I, I'm leaning towards Brom and Darius. That that might be my combo, or even Yasuo. I'm really messing with Yasuo. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next video.